This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Hey everyone, what's going on? Welcome back to a new YouTube video. As you guys can see, we're in my brand new office space, which kind of took a minute to put together. As I mentioned in my previous video, moved into a new office space at my new spot. So I needed some time to kind of get everything organized. Obviously, as you can see, it's a lot smaller than my previous space, but I honestly just didn't really feel like I needed that entire space anymore. So I'm really excited to actually be in a smaller space where everything's a lot more intentionally placed and I have a really nice, clean, talking angle to talk to you guys. Now in this video, we're gonna be shooting some lifestyle and portrait images using the Fuji GFX 100S. And I absolutely love this camera. As you can see, we got a really nice looking medium format sensor. And as you guys know, I've been using this camera for quite some time now. I absolutely love it. And I wanna kind of do a video where we shoot some portraits and some fun lifestyle photos. I haven't really shot uh, any lifestyle photos really on the channel yet, so I thought that'd be pretty fun. We're gonna be shooting some photos with my friend Andre, who's a professional skateboarder. We actually just did a really fun project together, which I'm very excited to share more about. It was with the good folks over at Moment. So you guys can probably guess what that might be. Uh, hint, hint, it's gonna be a brand new lesson, which is hopefully gonna drop in just enough time for the holidays, which is gonna be all about lifestyle photography, portrait photography. Very excited to be releasing that. But in the meantime, we're gonna be shooting some photos around LA. Very excited to bring you guys along. We're gonna be shooting with this camera and I'm excited to see what we can get. To kind of switch things up at the end of this video, we're also going to be reviewing some of the images. I feel like a lot of the time I don't get the chance to kind of give my input on how the images actually turned out. And I think that the images today are gonna to look pretty nice. We have a lot of cool locations planned and I thought it'd be fun to kind of sit down at the end and walk through all the different photos that we take. So without further ado, let's go ahead and pack up and we're gonna go head out and shoot some nice photos at sunset. shooting with this GFX. It's a little hard to capture motion, so you gotta kind of anticipate it. But when you get it. This is the light, dude. Kinda is the Looking for right now, we're trying to get like some movement with the shot, so it's a really like nice neutral background with the colors that he's wearing. It's really nice overall, just trying to capture the movement of the actual trick itself. Pretty sweet location, I do say so myself.
seconds could you do it a trick or two All right, everyone, so we've made it back to the studio and I wanted to kind of walk through a couple of the photos that I thought turned out nice and overall just explain my thought process throughout the whole shoot. So overall, the official kind of goal of this entire shoot was just to shoot some cool photos of my friend Andre skating. Uh, we found some really cool neighborhoods to shoot in, which I thought turned out really nice. Uh, I think the first couple photos were kind of just a little bit of a test run to get things moving smoothly. I think once we moved to the LA River in downtown LA, Turned out really nice. Um, I love kind of how the complementary colors work together. We got a lot of really interesting movement of him skating. And this isn't really like typically stuff that I would necessarily shoot, but I think that's the fun part about photography is to try something new. And I haven't really been trying a lot of new stuff lately, so I think this was a very good uh, practice for me just to get out, take some new photos, and do something that I haven't really done before, which was a blast. So I think when it comes to the actual set of images, I feel like we got a really nice variety of shots. We got some kind of standalone portraits. We got some really nice uh, movement in the shots, um, a nice variety of locations and outfits. And this is kind of what I'm going for when I try to tell a story with photography. Um, I got a mix of wide shots, telephoto shots, um, and we also shot kind of throughout a really nice time of the day, sunset into blue hour. I think personally my favorite photos of the day definitely were like those last like 10 photos or so of blue hour. Those turned out really nice. Uh, but I think overall we told like, a really nice story throughout this entire uh, shoot which was uh, great. You know, I, I love when things kind of work out this way. Sometimes they don't, which you guys have also seen on this channel. Uh, but I think today was a great kind of representation of when things go smoothly and you kind of have locations planned out, you have a nice outfit to uh, shoot and you also have a great model who knows what he's doing in front of the camera um, and also does something really interesting with his life. He skateboards pretty much every single day. And I feel like it looks very natural when I'm shooting him because that's what he's most comfortable doing. So kind of what I want you guys to get out of this video is think about maybe someone in your life that you can shoot. Uh, think about, you know, a different kind of uh, way that you can shoot photos and try to take some photos that aren't necessarily what you typically would shoot. And I think you'll be pleasantly surprised with the results. For me, I'm pretty stoked on how all these turned out and I am excited to continue to shoot some more skateboarding photos. I feel like these are kind of my sort of style at the same time, which is cool. Um, I do love that I can kind of switch up the style of what I'm shooting and my actual style of how I shoot still kind of reigns true throughout each style of photography. And I think that's something that I've been really working towards for a while and I'm glad to see that it works out when I'm taking photos of skating as well. Um, but yeah, if you guys wanna see the full set, I will link it down below, it'll be on my website. Thank you so much as always for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And yeah, super excited to be in a new studio space and excited to continue making some more videos for you guys. See you guys next week, take care. Before this video wraps up, I did want to take a moment to thank today's sponsor, which is Squarespace, for sponsoring today's episode. If you are looking to create a custom website from scratch without all the coding and hassles that come with it, Squarespace is by far the best choice out there, in my opinion, to make a beautiful website. They have easy to use templates, which make creating a beautiful theme that much easier. 24 seven customer support for all of your questions and tons of customizable design and layout choices to really make your website stand out. For a photographer like myself, running a small business with multiple different kinds of needs, Squarespace really just makes sense. If you're interested in trying out Squarespace for yourself, go to squarespace.com slash Samuel Elkins, which is in the description to get 10% off your first website or domain purchase. As always, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one and we'll see you next week.